Hey, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use TIG's drop vertices to basically drop some verts. How it works is typically you'd have a situation where you might have some terrain like this and you want to sort the border edges to align with an object or a particular height or maybe even it out. So TIG has a tool for SketchUp that you can get in our extension store called Drop Vertices and it allows you to manipulate these edges. So what you need to do is make sure you select the boundary edge of the object you want to target. So double click and then shift click on the face to deselect everything except the boundary edges. And in the extensions menu, we have drop vertices. So you can drop to the nearest object and it detects the nearest object is the ground plane, which is at Z zero value, so it drops borders down to a zero value so that's quite handy so if we undo that and make the selection again so double click and shift click on the face our next option is to nearest below nearest above so I'm going to bring in an object below that I have on a separate layer so this also works for the first option, say the nearest object, and you can see it hits it. And we can do the same thing with the second one to the nearest below. And again, it stops at the, at the face it meets. If you add a rotation to this face, so with the, the rotate tool, I'm just going to add this very slight incline. Select and deselect the face and drop to nearest below you can see it even meets the incline which is really handy if you're working in uh, landscape architecture and do some terrain work so let's hide that layer he also has an option for nearest above so select the boundary edges nearest above and as you can see it pins the edges up above if we hide that layer you can see we're getting this type of effect. Let's undo that and hide the layer again. Double click, shift click. So the next option is to nearest positive Z equal to a value. So you get a dialog. Drop vertices to the nearest positive value. So if we put in 500 here, you can see it has stopped at the 500 mark. So just get the dimension tool. You can see it stopped at 500 millimeters. So let's undo that. Double click and shift click on the face. The next option is to lowest. So what it's doing is it's finding the lowest edge in the selection. If I undo, redo, so it's finding the lowest point, which is most likely here and dropping all the points around the edge to match the lowest point. He also allows us to drop to the highest. We get that type of effect where all the borders align with the highest value or the highest point of the border. So you can go so you can see it more than likely hitting this point here. Yeah. He also has an option, uh, middle I think is next. Yeah, middle. So the midpoint, and it matches the midpoint, or the distance between the highest value and the lowest value. The middle of that and the, our border edges will align to there, which is quite handy. We have average, which is what you'd imagine is the average between the high and the low. Double click and shift click. And we have a, a Z equal to, so you can pick any Z value, go minus. And there we go. So you really flatten them to zero plane and then 
pick the height value along Z you want them at. And the last option is percentage. So you want to drop a percentage between a zero and a hundred value, obviously. So if you say 25 and click OK, we get this relaxing of the border. I'll just undo that and do it at a different value. So the percentage of dropping we want, let's say 50. And you can see it has relaxed it a bit more. So it's more of a border relax mode in which you can really fine tune your result. So let's drop Vorts for SketchUp. You can grab it in the extension store. Simply do a search drop vert hit enter and there it is you do the same inside in sketchup using our extension store click search drop vert and there we go you can find more information clicking here you can download and install in a single click i love it